Rick Neuheisel joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show and the Honda Insider Report. How are you, Rick? Rich, I am fantastic, and happy holidays. I didn't realize you would ask for Shea Patterson for uh, for your holiday present. <laughs> you know what? Uh, he fits very nicely <laughs> under the tree. Uh, and I'm assuming he he's, he, he went uh, to Michigan, Ole Miss, uh, going from Ole Miss to Michigan, because should we assume that Harbaugh's basically told him he's going to start? Should we assume? No, that, I don't. Right? I don't know that you can do that, but I, I, I think that he'll have been given the assurance that he'll have every opportunity to win the job. Okay. Which is uh, which is standard protocol with coaches to uh, quarterbacks, but uh, obviously uh, Michigan uh, feeling like they're just that much away from getting back into uh, the conversation when we're talking playoffs. Yeah, and uh, speaking of the playoffs, do you think the committee got it right with the four that's going to play it out coming up Rich, in a couple I- weeks? Rich, I do. I think they got it right. Uh, I know Big Ten fans and Ohio State fans are disappointed. Uh, This is uh, now the second year in a row a Big Ten champion has not made it. But the committee has to sit there and weigh all these factors. And at the end of the day, you can't unsee that 55-24 to drubbing they took at the hands of Iowa in Iowa City. That, that, That loss cost them their chance. And when it all comes down to it, um, I guess you just have to use the eye test at the end because I still have no idea. It's it's sort of like the catch rule in the NFL sometimes. You know, it, you, you, yeah. you it's it's all written out, but sometimes you have to use a different interpretation on occasion. One hundred percent. It's it's the Supreme Court and obscenity, right? I I don't sure how to define it, but I know it when I see it, and 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 that's where we are. And it's it's an un, it's an unfair situation we put these thirteen people in because I mean, goodness gracious, they have to make a call. They know they're going to upset somebody. And eventually, uh, we have to uh, grow this playoff to include all portions of the country so that uh, we're not sitting here having this argument every year. Rick Neuheisel joining me here in the Honda Insider Report. Which, now that we've seen all the regular season action, which quarterback that's set for the next level, uh, allegedly, for this coming year, um, do you think is the best quarterback prospect for the National Football League, Rick? Well, I, I think at day's end, assuming that football is important to him as I hope that it is, I think Josh Rosen is going to be sensational. He can make every throw. He uh, He's certainly cerebral enough to start to detect what's going on in the defenses. Uh, he knows how to work the inside of the field. It's not just a sideline passer. He's not working just with the RPOs that uh, college football and rules allow, the run-pass options. Uh, so he's he's adept at all of it, and I think uh, I think we'll acclimate quickly to the uh, NFL game. But that being said, I think Darnold is special. I think he's got that John Wayne it factor. I think that uh, Baker Mayfield has the ability, despite maybe a, a little bit short in stature. Uh, I think he's like Drew Brees. I think he can throw people open as well as anybody. Uh, and those three guys, I think, would be the ones that uh, would come to mind quickest to uh, make a difference at the next level. So let's go in order here. Rosen, why do we keep talking about his want to, his desire? Why is that constantly being the conversation, Rick? Well, because he talks about it. I mean, uh, and, and not necessarily to a microphone when he's on, but he talks about it behind the scenes. You know, he's uh, he's an affluent, comes from an affluent family where it wasn't uh, always important to, to be a professional athlete. Now, I think as he's gotten closer to the to the flame kind of thing, I think he's feeling the allure and the challenge of it. And uh, so I, I think that will all be kind of uh, gone by the wayside after he gets poked and prodded in Indianapolis at the combine. Yeah, I mean, that is going to be the topic. Uh, that I mean, the interview process, that is going to be the crucial aspect of his combine, not the height, weight measurement and how what his hand size is or what right. he's going to do in these drills, but it's what he's going to do in the meeting rooms. You've been in those rooms. How do you how do you test somebody's want to? How do you do that? Well, it will be interesting. You know, I was with the Raven franchise, so Ozzie Newsom would he cut to the chase. I mean, he goes, I know you practice these answers because an agent helped you, you know, script exactly what you'd say to all this stuff. Let's just cut through this, this uh, minutia and get to the real. And, and I think everybody in some way, shape, or form is going to try to do the same thing. And so it, it's important that it isn't a scripted answer. It's important to come from his heart, and they, they believe it, his sincerity. But if, if you get past that, and remember, it only takes one. I think he's going to be really, really special because he does have all those attributes you look for in a signal caller. Rick Neuheisel in the Honda Insider Report. Would you counsel Darnold to stay in school? 
You know, I would. I, I think he's enjoying the game. Uh, you know, I don't know what the economics are. You have to have somebody that understands all that in terms of what present value is and, and so forth. But uh, I think, you know, he still uh, has a, a, an inclination to throw into coverage. I think he still can take another year and learn uh, what's going on on the other side of the ball, take another step in terms of changing plays at the line of scrimmage and getting – uh, the Trojans into better situations. And I think, uh, you know, he could benefit from that. Uh, and, and I think obviously USC fans would be ecstatic if he were to make that choice. And then the, uh, the last one that you mentioned, Baker Mayfield, the fact that he can get triggered by Kansas, does that concern you when you go to the next level? There are going to be a lot of people poking and prodding him on that. He'll look like a biology frog, you know, it, uh, <laughs> it'll be, it'll be asked, but uh, I think the chip on his shoulder as much as it might be a concern to some, might be an alluring to, uh, factor for for others. Uh, the fact that he loves to compete at that much. Remember, Rich, this guy was a walk-on. A walk-on both to Texas Tech and to Oklahoma. He's been to New York City as a Heisman finalist three years in a row. He's thrown 41 touchdown passes after throwing 40 the year before. The guy flat can throw people open. He extends plays as well as any, and he has this, as he likes to term it, a boulder on his shoulder. I think people like that competitive zeal. Well, I've said a couple of times now, Rick, and I might as well bounce it off you, that you know Washington Redskins fans – think that there's no way out because cousins might be there, might not be there. And that they're there and that the front office is caught in a, a rock and a hard place. I, I think drafting Baker Mayfield and throwing him in the NFC East and try and do battle with Dak and Wentz and whatever the future is for the giants. That's the spot for this kid. I I'd do makes, that in a heartbeat. That makes a lot of sense. As you say it now, that makes a lot of sense. And, and, uh, you know, Jay Gruden would be smart to borrow a little bit of that Oklahoma offense to come with him. You know, that's what uh, Bill O'Brien was doing with Deshaun Watson. We saw the, the effects once he got comfortable with the offense. They did that with Jared Goff in year two with his stint with the Rams. If they bring a little of that Oklahoma Lincoln Riley offense with them, I think uh, Mayfield will be really, really good in D.C. A couple of more minutes with Rick Neuheisel and the uh, Honda Insider Report. How do you think Chip Kelly's going to fare in your old stomping grounds at UCLA? I like to hire. Uh, I think, uh, and I'm speaking as a former Bruin player, not a former Bruin coach, <laughs> I think it signals that uh, uh, that UCLA is ready to make the all-in statement. Uh, you don't take that job if you're Chip Kelly, given the leverage that he had, unless you have assurances that all things that you need to be at the at your best as a program nationally are in place, meaning nutrition, meaning uh, uh, strength and conditioning budgets. All those things are there. You don't spend 23 and a half million bucks on a coach to come do it if you're not going to give him the tools that are necessary to compete at the highest level. And I know Chip knew the questions to ask, and so I feel good about the hire, and I think all former Bruins, uh, like myself, are excited about the, the prospect. All right. Uh, let's talk about you hosting the American Football Coaches Awards in yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, how about me transitioning to a Rich Eisen-type role? Well, how about I, that? I appreciate that you'd throw my name in that mix, <laughs> Rick, but I was going more Billy Crystal. Are you going to have, like, a song and dance routine? I am going gonna... to have a guitar. Barney, uh, Bonnie Bernstein, who's going to be my co-host, Okay. Is, uh, demanding that she get a uh, vocal opportunity. So uh, we will have the guitar. And, you have and so, to, Rick. You have yeah, to. Yeah. This is on January 9th. It's the day after the national championship. We're going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the site of the American Football Coaches Convention. So all the coaches, both the current and former, will be there. Uh, it's it's a chance to, to hang out. We'll, you can see this on USA Today Sports facebook page that's eight o'clock eastern time we're gonna give out the coach of the year award uh last year mike mcintyre from colorado won it uh scott frost will be probably a guy at the top of the list this year we're going to present the number one team who won the night before and his coach the amway coaches poll this is all sponsored by amway which is cool but here's what's neat you can go on to cameo with the coaches.com uh, and sign up for a chance to win a trip for two to charlotte and come be part of the show you're going to be on TV, Fantastic. rub elbows with all these guys, drop a couple ball plays, slip it into your favorite coach's uh, best pocket, uh, <laughs> and uh, you can be a part of this thing. Hang out with me. We'll write songs. I mean, what more do you want? It's a kumbaya moment, I promise you. Yeah, you know, we, we actually, speaking of which, we actually <laughs> set Nick Saban's uh, uh, soliloquy 
uh, about uh, torn up jeans. We set we we set it to um, uh, country music, Rick, because it right. sounded like. Did you hear his soliloquy about I passing? Did. I did hear about this. It goes, sounded. What, it, what, what did we come to? <laughs> it so, right. It's, to? It, he, how did we get here? Was what that <laughs> was what that was. Uh, that, Mike, do that, you? That, I will. I will write the song and have it available for you uh, as soon as you uh, are ready to n- and see fit to have it uh, available. No, we already. We already have. Oh, you it. already did it. Yeah. Okay, would well, you like? Would you like to hear it, Rick? Would, do you have on, it Rich. for me? That would be wonderful. Yeah. Here. Here we go. Mike Del Tufo is going to get it. Don't worry. We could edit this thing, Mike. Go ahead. Hang on one second, Rick. We're we're gonna we're gonna put this thing together. Can you get it, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. You got it, Mike. Here. Here it comes. I just wanted to know how we got here. Not to offend anybody out there, but I just walked by some jeans, wore out jeans, holes in them, all cut up. I just remember when I was a kid in West Virginia, I was ashamed to go to school because my jeans were wore out. Only because we didn't have any better. Now they buy them that way. I just wanted to know how we got here. I just wanted to know how we got here. I think it's a hit, Rick. What do you think? There's no question. Who knew that Nick Saban would be uh, as good as the possum in terms of articulating <laughs> the country thought? Yes. Well, that that's an, that's an option for you for hosting uh, for your for your opening act. <laughs> Although I think if you if you would take one last request before I let you go here, you should your entrance should be uh, Texas A and M Jet comes on stage. You come out, roll out the red carpet, and a band treats you like you're a visiting dignitary. Just like what happened with Jimbo. What do you think, Rick? I think that's appropriate. I mean, uh, I don't think – I haven't seen the small print in this, this <laughs> deal that I'm signing. I don't think it's for 10 years nor for $75 million, <laughs> but to, I'll take what I can get. Right? Whatever the budget is, Rick, let's bust it. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I, I look forward to it. Let's chat soon, okay? I look forward to it. Happy holidays to you. Enjoy the bowl season, and uh, it goes fast, doesn't it, this college it football sure does. Season. Cameo at thecoaches.com, at Coach Neuheisel on Twitter. Rick Neuheisel here in the Honda Insider Report. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.